shadowing owls are some of the smallest birds in the owl family. An adult will be approximately seven inches in height and weigh in at a mere six ounces. Within their lifespan of six to eight years, they will produce one brood of owlets per breeding season. Burrowing owls will most often take over a burrow that was previously dug by a ground squirrel or a badger. Burrowing owls are brown with a spotted breast and dark brown bars on their belly. They live, breed, and hunt on the ground. Eating insects and small animals such as lizards and frogs, they'll stand on a raised area of a mound or a find a slightly higher perch to hunt. You can often find them running around after their food. their food, they will immediately take it to their young. Like other owls with yellow eyes, they hunt all during the day, also during dusk and dawn. These owls have a variety of sounds, one sound to call each other, but the most recognizable sound is the sound of the alarm. When mama sounds the alarm, the babies make a mad dash for the burrow. The juvenile owl has its own unique sound. It can make a sound that sounds very similar to that of a rattlesnake. It uses this sound to scare off possible threats. Sometimes the adults will bring the feces of other animals to their young. It's not for them to eat. It's because that there are beetles inside the feces. They will often line the edges of their burrow with this animal feces to attract these beetles. For most of the night, the owlets will stay inside the burrows. They emerge throughout the day, stretching and flapping their little wings. They can be very entertaining to watch, as they are quite comical. One thing about this type of shoot, uh, you've got a beautiful warm colored bird, you've got red and orange colors there and a lot of dead grass, so your camera can tend to really just live in these warm tones. I personally prefer these warmer tones, but if it just gets out of hand, I'll go into the white balance and do some custom settings, getting it down um, to about 5,000 uh, in the white balance, giving me more cooler tones. 
Most of the shooting on this trip was done in morning, evening, really good light. The, the birds are just lit up. So wonderful shots, easy shooting in that light. This is another type of shot here, which is um, these birds are facing the west and I'm shooting the early morning light where the sun's directly behind these guys. So as that sun begins to rise, you have an opportunity to get these big pupils, which is kind of different than the other shots you've seen. This is a beautiful shot. If I only could have got that last guy looking at me.